Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this video, it's gonna be super exciting. Get ready, because we're gonna be doing a, an outro tutorial that links with YouTube. So if you've ever seen a video and you're watching it and you're enjoying it, um, and then at the end, when it happens, you get an outro, um, you get a cute little animation, it's absolutely adorable, and then the stuff pops up and it just works. Um, this doesn't just work because my icon changed slightly so now it's broken so that's why i'm redoing it but anyways i'm going to show you how to kind of integrate all this so it's nice and a very smooth transition okay guys here we are in after effect and i just have a couple tips for you when you create your proper outro with the template so first you're going to want to download a template so you know the size of the icons you're going to need as well as the safe areas um, step two you're going to want to make sure your composition is at least 20 seconds long meaning if you have a five second animation for your icons to pop up then you're going to your composition is going to need to be 25 seconds long and everything has to be in their exact place you want them to be at the just with 20 seconds left on the clock because all of the icons are on screen for 20 seconds the last 20 seconds of the video step three is you're going to design your outro using the guides and icon sizes from the downloadable template, which you can get if you're a Patreon supporter over on our Patreon account, or you could download one. There's about 300,000 of them that you could download for free online. Next up, you're gonna render and test this. So you're gonna actually render it out in After Effects, and then you're probably gonna wanna re-render it in Premiere Pro um, because the, the video has to be at least a minute long or something like that for YouTube to um, for YouTube to allow you to add a template at the end. So if it's only 25 seconds long, YouTube will not allow you to add the template. Um, step four, you're gonna adjust it in After Effects. After you, so you're gonna take a screenshot in the, in the web browser. You're gonna bring that into After Effects and you're gonna adjust the icons so they're just perfectly in place. Um, and then of course, re-render that. And all of this will be done using the Edge browser. The reason being is because it does not work properly in Chrome. So anyways, guys, let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I actually created a template for you. If you're a Patreon supporter, you can download it. If not, there are like a hundred different people that are making these templates. I just figured it was gonna be simple, it kind of plugs into this video, um, and it'll help bring awareness to our Patreon account, which helps us keep producing videos. So um, what you would be able to get if you were a Patreon supporter, if I could find it, would be this YouTube outro template. So you could just drag this straight in After Effects and when it pops up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you select composition. So it's already set to composition. If it's set to footage, change it to composition because you're gonna to need to do that to be able to move the layers around. So you just hit okay. And I'm just gonna double tap it to open up the layer. Um, it's gonna be hard to read because the background is transparent. So I'm just gonna add a, a white solid background just behind it so you can see what I'm talking about. So um, scale to fit. The red lines are the safe area. The red lines are the safe area. If you stay within the red lines, you're good. Your icons can be placed. If you're outside of that area, it will not work. So let me show you here. That equates to this blue line. Now we have a circle link, which equates to some of the links become circles. Some of the links become squares. Um, we have a small thumbnail and we have a large thumbnail. So the thumbnail size could be anywhere between the small thumbnail and the large thumbnail. So um, this is the smallest it could be. This is the largest it can be, just an FYI. So you're gonna actually start with this template. Now me, I already worked on outros before, so I kind of already know where my where my boundaries are gonna be, um, but I could easily just actually copy all of these layers, hit Control C, come into my outro and hit Control V and put it in a place. And you can see that my icons are in the right spot. So just to prove it to you, um, I don't have the square icon, so I'm just going to delete that. And I will not be using the large icon, so I'll just delete that. Um, the small icon I'm going to duplicate because I have two of them, or I will have two of them. And if I just move them over, you can see I want my... They fit perfectly like that, and they fit behind this swooping line. So I need them to be over here. They fit properly. Now, my circle icon is going to... You're going to think that I'm lying here, but... Um, if you notice on the YouTube uh, image, there is, it's white around it. And the reason is, is that my, my icon was actually updated, which is why I'm doing this in the first place. However, um, since my new background's white, I'm just avoiding the white altogether. So I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, 
you're obviously going to have to render this out, upload it to YouTube, and then move it around to see if it fits properly. So um, I'm just going to make these, those layers invisible. I'm going to render this out and I'm going to bring it into Premiere Pro because it has to be a certain length. It only it has to be like a minute long for YouTube to be able to add a template to it. Um, if it's less than like a minute or something, it says the video is too short to add an outro. Okay, so I already rendered this out for you to save time and energy. Um, so here I'm going to open up Premiere Pro and I am going to find my rendered outro and I'm just going to bring it into Premiere Pro. I'm just going to drag it here at the end, take a look at it just to make sure it kind of fits everything I want it to fit and it looks fine to me and I'm just going to now render this. So I'm going to render this at, it doesn't have to be such high settings. Um, I'm going to render this at 1920 by 1080 which it already did um, and I'm going to leave, I'm going to maybe make this 18 12, maybe even 15, um, just because I don't really need it to be very high resolution or perfect. Um, I just want it to be fast. I'm just going to save that to the to the desktop. And I'm just going to export this. And basically all this is going to be used for is for testing. So I'm going to upload it to YouTube. I'm going to add the outro. I'm going to move the icon elements into the place that I think they should be. And then I am going to then jump back into After Effects and readjust them. So everything's not going to be perfectly lined up, but you're going to have to do the best job that you can because YouTube's um, functionality isn't really great for moving the icons around. So I'm just going to let this render here and we'll be right back. Okay, so the video is finally rendered and now I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Let's see where I rendered it out as. Let's, let's hope I, what? Ugh, I hate, I hate Edge browser. It sucks compared to Chrome. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this private just so it doesn't accidentally uh, go, go full. And I'm just gonna let this thing upload and process and then we'll be back yet again. Okay, so it's finally uploaded to YouTube and I'm gonna now go to the end screens and annotations and I am going to start placing my objects. So, da, 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 the internet's slow and I am going to wait till everything pops up. Again, Edge just totally blows. Um, so I'm gonna add some icon elements here. Um, I'm gonna add a video. Um, I'm just gonna choose a video because sometimes the icon or the image won't show up you don't um, and I'm going to add channel uh, I should probably add actually just uh, subscribe so it's my channel perfect um, and maybe I'll add another video as well just so we could be concise okay so let's see here those videos they line up you know, they do give you some grid, so I was able to line that up a little bit. Um, so that looks fine. And now this is the part that will cause you many hours of pain and suffering. So when you do it full screen, it doesn't work. So you can try to zoom in and <laughs> match this pixel by pixel, which I'm telling you will take years off of your life. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, whoops. Oh man, I'm just, I'm just failing heavily in every direction. Let me zoom out. Okay, so now for the tricky part. Uh, you're gonna wanna screenshot this. Um, I'm gonna actually do it in full screen mode because I can. I'm just gonna take my screenshot. and zoom out. So my screenshot actually opened up in my other tab. I'm just gonna save this image to my desktop or my downloads, either or. And now we have to jump back into After Effects and start our making our adjustments. So this is the part that is very frustrating, but it is what it is. Um, also, by the way, I should note that you're probably gonna wanna save this in Edge because um, in the future, you wanna be able to just import the import the template 
from a different video, which means it'll you don't have to go through the whole process of, make, of lining it up every time. That's completely redundant. Um, so, okay. Um, in addition, what you could have done, which I guess would also make sense, you could also add lines in After Effects of where your icon is. And so that way it might help you eat more easily line up the icon. Um, but I didn't do that um, because I didn't think about that until about three seconds ago. I'm just gonna drag this image in. I hope this is the right one. And it is. And I'm just going to move it into place and reduce the transparency. Okay, so you can see here, I lined it up pretty good actually. It came out really, really close. Um, that's the difference there. But basically that's the difference I have to make in After Effects. Now I can go into, um, I can go back into YouTube and readjust it more, but to be honest, you're just gonna waste your time. Um, I find it significantly easier if you just move the position and the scale within After Effects. So I'm just going to move this until I think that it looks the best. And when I make this invisible, you can't really barely see a shift in pixels at all. So I think it might move over one or two pixels. Nope, I was wrong. I think that's as close as I'm gonna get. Um, okay, so that part is now done, which is great. That was actually really fast. I was really happy with that. Now I just need to kind of move my other icon elements so that way um, so that way everything's lined up. Because again, I had to move this a little bit. So let's see my logo, um, which is somewhere, this logo. If I press U on the keyboard, you'll see that there is some position moving. Um, and I just need to make sure that this position is the same as this position. So this is the X, this is the Y. So I need the X position. I'm just gonna copy that keyframe. I'm gonna paste that on the X position. So you just so it just barely moved over to the left a little bit, but now it's as centered as possible. So now when I, when I render this out, um, let's see, make sure I didn't break something in the animation, which again, you'll wanna check. Okay, so that looks good. And the last step I will do is I will see if the animation matches up with when everything pops into place. Perfect, so it does, it matches up perfect. And I just would render this out now and add it and double check. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see here that it matches up absolutely perfectly. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a like, subscribe, check out other videos on this channel, as well as following our Patreon account where you can download some of the things we did in this video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.